Season 3, Winter, Episode 2, In a Pickle. Today you'll see in our cover shot a cucumber, one which has been sliced after it's been peeled, and one that's just kind of laying there, ready to be turned into a pickle. So the expression in a pickle means to be kind of in a fix, to be in a difficult spot, in a, you're a little confused about what to do. So, um, you know, welcome to this episode, and how are you today? Thanks for asking. I'm doing okay. I'm looking at the cover shot you've made. I like it, like it a lot. And uh, I, I'm just wondering if you can say that uh, you grow pickles or you don't grow pickles. You grow cucumbers, right? Right. The pickling is the process of using vinegar, garlic, and dill. So to make pickles, I've always seen it made with vinegar, garlic, and dill. Uh, when I lived in Turkey, they call it turshu. So you could turn all kinds of things through pickling. You could do peppers, you could do cauliflower, you could do cucumbers. What was the question? <laughs> if if you can if you can grow pickles or cucumbers come first. Yeah, you start with you start with the cucumber, and then you peel it. And then you get your jar that's been sterilized. And then you put whatever it is you want into the jar for your spicing. And then you seal the jar off from air. And uh, some people put it on shelves and some people put it in the refrigerator. But uh, yeah, I think pickling is a way to preserve some things from the harvest. So we did season to autumn and we talked about the harvest so if you have a lot of cucumbers growing in your garden and you want to enjoy the idea of a cucumber you might pickle it so that in the winter you could have some pickles or fish or turnips or something have, have you do you like pickles I I'm just can't stop thinking about cucumbers. When I was a child, my grandma, she was like a gardener. And uh, I think cucumbers were easy to grow. You just, you had to put some manure on top and, and that's it. When they come in, it's like it, you're lots of cucumbers. There is no tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I remember that pickles when she made them. Uh, I actually, I always used my hand uh, instead of a fork. And uh, was that, I, I don't. I don't think I should have used my hand instead of fork, but that was not to what to what eat a pickle. Or I pickle? didn't even wash my hands at the time before COVID, and uh, yeah, when I was a child, I mean, um, do you do you know they have this in the glass jars, right? Yes. Yeah. And, uh, because and the glass kind of glass jars could be ster they could be sterilized. Uh, I read something about pickles, are how pickles taste really good with with meat and um, I know that there's another type of pickle called a gherkin which I think is part of a maybe the Germans call it a, a gherkin but um, it you know it's a it's a way of preserving vegetables so you can mm. to ha have them later but the expression in a pickle it kind of means in trouble like I'm in a pickle, I'm disoriented, I'm mixed up, I'm confused, I'm not sure what to do. Hmm. And so sometimes you, you might call up a friend and say, how are you doing? The friend might say, I'm in a pickle, I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do for Christmas shopping, I still have to get two more gifts. Hmm. I did, this is the first time I ever like get to hear this idiom. I, uh, I thought I knew everything, go figure. Really, you did. Yeah. Well. Well. Huh. Yeah, I'm... with the pickle. <laughs> Still takes me back in time. I'm. I remember how when I was a child, I, you know, get my hand into the glass jar of pickles and uh, all this juice getting on my hand. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. I just maybe shouldn't have told. Maybe shouldn't speak about Why? that. Why? No, uh, no, no. Also, I came across an article. You know how when you're like scrolling through your feed online or on your phone or something. 
uh, somebody did an article in Dallas about uh, pickles and why pickles are sold at the movie theaters. So right now the movie theaters are closed, but I know when I go to a movie, I like popcorn, I like um, malted milk ball, I like uh, crunchy things. But um, pickles are also sold at uh, movie theaters. Mm. I, I also came across something that, uh, as I was thinking about this episode, I wonder how far back that, that in a pickle term goes. And I found that in 1573, this fellow named Thomas Tusser wrote a book called 500 points of good husbandry and he's giving advice about you know housekeeping and he writes reap barley with the sickle that lies in the pickle hmm. so i don't even know what that means but i guess uh, you're supposed to <laughs> cut the cut the barley with a scythe hmm. you know what a scythe is scythe no it's a S C Y T H E, you know the Grim Reaper, mm -hmm. death who comes for us all. He's often depicted as carrying a sickle mm. to cut the yeah. wheat. Yeah, I um, wow. We, yeah. I I thought you were you were gonna mention that he's always depicted like the man in the pickle suit. Oh yeah, yeah. There there are there are men in pickle suits. There are men in. Uh, Peanut suits. Mr. Peanut is is a popular type of uh, costume that that you know appears appears you know off and on. Well, you know, um, if I was in a pickle, would I need a sickle? <laughs> yeah. Well, that uh, <laughs> that puts my mind uh, on the other drive. And uh, do you ever like dream of pickles? Have you had a dream about pickles? Uh, seen them in a dream? Pickles? No, I'm no? I'm not a, not you know. I mean, you know what Freud would say about dreaming of pickles? I I don't know. I um, me neither. Me neither. I'm just thinking why how that happened that I've never seen pickle in my dream in any of my my dreams. Well, you know, I mean, I I I also have not seen a pickle in a dream but there's probably a lot of things i haven't seen in a dream <laughs> I, um, I don't know yeah like uh, but I, I like the pickle juice when you had uh, especially like healthy thing to drink when you had the night before like you have a hangout and the pickle juice like uh the remedy number one yeah, and it's yummy also in in english it's called pickleback so it's a pickleback? shot oh. if, if you if you order a pickleback Let's suppose you've been out drinking, okay? Mm. And uh, my my friend uh, uh, Leon, who's a bartender, uh, explained to me what a pickleback was. It's a shot of Jameson whiskey with a chaser of pickle juice, and it's uh, I guess kind of ubiquitous of different people around the world like whiskey and they like pickle juice, so it's supposed to be something delicious i mean i like whiskey and i like i like pickles yeah but you've had it before pickleback <laughs> lots of times i'm just not to change the subject but uh what if i say that our episodes the episodes we are making is like the only shining light in the pickle we find ourselves these days yeah. would that be grammatically uh, correct well, it would be a mixed metaphor because you have a shining light and then you've got a pickle. So those don't really go together. But yeah, what you say, it's like a bright spot. Yeah. Yeah, there's uh -huh. a lot of, lot of dramatic, awful stuff going on. But yeah, these Patroma therapy episodes are, are you know, kind of cheerful for me. And, 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 and I agree. Uh, yeah. this, we, yeah. we hope that our subscribers have enjoyed listening to writing stories, which was our first episode this season. And uh, we're going to have some more for those you know, more stories to listen to. And then, you know, we're also going to talk about winter soup. So, uh, you know, winter soups, winter drinks will be coming up next. So thanks for listening.